Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple and low prep game to implement in your classroom to help your students practice irregular verbs. My students have begged me to allow them to play this game and I have seen how it has helped them in their writing skills in many activities that we have done in our classroom. Hi, I'm Dr. Hemphill and I post weekly teaching tips for ESL teachers all around the world to meet the needs of their English language learners. If you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. So one of the skills that my students struggle with, and I myself, even though I'm a native English speaker, struggle with is irregular verbs. For example, we know that there's verbs like walk, simple. If I want to talk about walk in the past, then I will add ed and it becomes walked. But what about verbs like bid? I mean, it's, I know that it's, wait, bade? Is it bidden? <laughs> bade, bidden. Yes, bid, bade, bidden. But I had to think about that for a second because it doesn't follow that regular pattern. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to implement this really fun game of clap and catch for your students. Please make sure to stick towards the end after I show you how to play the game for some helpful tips that you should be aware of before you introduce this game to your students. In order to play this game, you will need a set of index cards. On one side, you will write a sentence in the present tense using that particular verb. And on the opposite side, you will write a sentence and using that verb in the past tense. The next step is you're going to have your student stand in a circle and have one student throw the ball to another student and the student who catches the ball must clap before catching the ball. If the student misses, that student must choose a card and they will read the sentence and the student must stay the sentence in the past tense. Emphasize to students that they are not to throw the ball to each other's face and that they must try to not make contact to the student who they're going to throw the ball to as to try to trick them in catching the ball. Please type in the comment section below yes if you've played a similar game with your students. Here are some really important tips that I highly recommend when introducing this game to your students. My first tip in making sure that this game goes well with your students is to make sure that you have reviewed with your students prior to playing the game different verbs and their past form. What I have done with my newcomer students is that I actually had the verb forms on the board so that if they got stuck with one of the verbs, they were able to look at it and reference it. And that way it would go into long-term memory because they had that visual support. But little by little, I would take it off the board so then they would have to refer to what they remember. And that way it was a skill that they mastered. A second tip that I highly recommend is to make sure that you use only a softball to avoid any injury and reiterate to your students not to throw the ball to each other's faces and to stay below the face. A third tip that I highly recommend is having your students practice the actual motion of catching the ball and clapping before catching it. It sounds really simple, but it's just something that they can get into the routine of that because most students are used to catching a ball but not clapping prior to catching it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please make sure to comment in the comment section below if you've implemented this game and how it went with your students as I love to get feedback on how it went. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week for more tips, strategies, and resources for the English language learners in your classroom.